Hey, so I get asked a lot how I create these reels and it really isn't um, that difficult. And I'm just going to show you a really quick and easy way to do it just from uh, kind of a couple of photos. Now you go about putting that together. So um, first thing is the app. So this is VN Video Editor. It's on an iPhone, but you know, obviously it's available on Android as well. Um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in it already. But the first thing you're going to do is click the plus sign at the bottom. Click on that and we get the options on here. Don't worry about any of this other stuff. What we're going to do is just click for a new project. And the very first thing that's going to come up is going to show me a list of uh, my videos that are on my phone, uh, some stuff from the event last week. Uh, I'm going to click across to photo. And again, here's my kind of recent photos that I've got as well. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to use um, lowly rows here, uh, and I'm going to uh, select the uh, pictures that I want to put um, in this video. Now, by default, when you select them, the order you select them will be the order that they appear. So you can do that now and you can kind of choose the order you want the pictures to uh, to pop up um, or you can drag and move them around again later. So um, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose that one and that one and that one and that one. I'm not going to choose that other one because it's quite similar. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven photos selected, and I'm going to click the big blue button on the bottom right to go next. And as you will see, boom, that has added uh, all my photos in. So, and it gives it a default time of each photo of three seconds. So if I click on the play bar, you'll see that now that's just going to play through with a simple transition. I mean, it's no transition. It's just a cut uh, between each video. Okay, so now we've got a couple of options here in terms of what we can do. Um, three seconds, you know, is going to be way too long. So a lot of the time you're going to want to shorten the length of these. And there's a few ways you can do it. Uh, if you click on, um, if you click on each clip, you can just drag and then you'll see that the time kind of comes in, comes down on each of those. So of course you can lengthen it and you can shorten it. So these things like where you see these tutorials that say, oh, set it to 0.56, you would just drag that down. And you'll see at that point, actually, the time goes away. So what you can do, and obviously it's hard to show on the screen, uh, on a screenshot, um, is if you can pinch and drag that timeline. So you can uh, lengthen it to give you a bit more space. And now when I click on that, uh, you can see when I drag that in, actually, I've got uh, a lot more space. Uh, okay, so if I want, I don't know, 0.51, I just drag that to 0.51, and then I'm done. And then obviously just repeat that for the kind of next clip. The other way you can do this, and you'll see if you click along here at the bottom, you've got a whole bunch of things, you've got a whole bunch of things down here. The other thing you can do um, is to click on Trim. And if you click on Trim, uh, you will see on here that you've got a couple of pre-built um, uh, timings in here, like 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 1.0, 2.5. Let's say I had a whole bunch of clips. I wanted to set everything to 2.3. Then what I'm going to do, you'll see up here, actually, it says the photos. You see it says one of eight um, up here at the top, just above there. And there's a little... Um, uh, fast forward icon to the right and if I click that it takes me to photo 2 of 8 and 3 of 8 and 4 of 8 so rather than having to kind of keep going back to the timeline I can just do this I can set that to uh, uh, 2.3 oh 2.3 one it doesn't matter you get what I'm trying to do click next do it for the next one and of course if you're doing like a you know a, um, you know something quick like 0.1 I can click to the next one, 0.1, click to the next one, 0.1, you know, whatever, 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 0.3, 0.1. Um, and always, 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 uh, and for let's just do the last one, it's 0.1, and uh, the last one, 0.1. Oh, actually, that's the little clip. I'll show you that in a sec. And then click the little tick, um, and that's going to have rearranged all of the times. And my timeline's quite big, so let me shrink that back down. 
So if I now play that, you'll see that now goes through. So that plays 2.3, that plays 2.3, bam, 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 because they're like 0 0.1 seconds, and there's my last one at 3. Um, you'll also see, if you scroll these out, if I want to rearrange um, any of these clips as well, um, you just click on it, and then I can just drag these things around. So if you want to put this in a different area, I want to put that in there. I'm going to click that and drag that in there. Um, of course, you've always got an undo. So on the top right there, um, you'll see I've got an undo function, right, which will undo everything that I've uh, that I've done. And the, uh, what else can I show you? What else can I show you? Right, so let's start to look at transitions. So let's look at this, the way there's transitions between the two, right? That's really boring. So if I click on the plus, I've now got a whole bunch of transitions. And when you click on these, it will give you um, a little example of what that looks like. Um, the, some of the ones that people use a lot, things like rotate, and you'll see things like zoom and rotate, there's a little white dot underneath which in this one, that's a zoom out. If I click zoom again, it's then a zoom in. And the same with rotate. That's a rotate left. If I click it, it will rotate the other way, right? So when you get a little dot, it gives you a um, uh, it gives you a different option. So I'm going to leave that as zoom in. Um, I can change the time for that. So if I want like a slower zoom or like a really quick zoom, I can change that. Um, I do have an option for apply to all. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to click tick. So it's now applied it. So now when I now play those two together, oh, I've got them in a really cool transition between the two. And you can just play around with those. You can use as many of those in your video um, as, uh, as you want. Now, the other thing, uh, some people like some stuff I did the other day, the kind of little bouncy thing uh, where it kind of bounces in. Um, so not only you've got the transition, but you've got some effects on that first clip as well. Um, the other thing we've got down here, you'll see next to trim, we have the FX button. I'm going to click on FX. And oh my God, there is so much stuff in here. And this is why I like VN. There's so much stuff in here that's free. So these again, and if you click on it, it will show you um, a little example of how this stuff works. And um, for example, the, the kind of that sort of, you know, bounce thing that I used the other day, this jitter down, which is kind of really cool. Now, the other thing you'll see is each one of those, um, you'll now see I've got a thing on here on the timeline which says jitter down in green, right? And that is now the, um, it's starting to get a bit more technical. This is like, I suppose, let's call it the FX overlay for that clip. Now, I can only apply that to a certain length of times, so like 1.30 seconds. But I can also move that around. So if I click and hold that, I can move around, like, where in the clip, you know, that happens. So, again, I can kind of preview um, by clicking the play button. You'll see how that works. So I can kind of put it so um, it appears straight at the beginning and then settles. Um, or, of course, I could take that. I could move it to the end so that maybe the image is there and then it kind of drops in. Um, I'm going to apply that. And then again, you'll see here, you'll see that green, you'll see where it kind of kicks in. So if I hit that now, you'll see that um, that drop in. Um, now, I kind of don't like the way that looks because I just want that to start and just drop straight away. So actually what I'm going to do is shorten that video clip um, to the length of the FX. Now, unfortunately, I wish you could, or maybe I go away and I just don't know it. Um, I wish you could, um, uh, let's come in a bit further. Um, I might have to add the FX again. Uh, so let's do like, yeah, one point. Yeah, let's do like one point. Yeah, 1.25. Uh, let me go back into FX and it was uh, jitter down. Um, yeah, I wish there was a way that you could apply these like across the whole clip. They seem to be time bound for some way. Again, I've, I've got an apply to all. So if I wanted to do this for everything, I could just click it and apply it to every, uh, to every clip. Um, so now if I now play this, you'll see we now have that kind of quite cool effect. So that bounces in, zooms, next one, which is pretty cool. So let's go back to effects. Now let me click apply to all, and you'll see now that's applied across all of my clips. It hasn't actually applied it to those ones that are super short because they're only like a um, point of a, of, of a second. So in fact, let me take those and put those down the end out of the way um, because we don't want those in the way. Uh, and that, uh, that one, 
I'm going to take that. I'm going to move that down here to just move it. Okay. So that looks better. So now let's just play those first couple, uh, couple through. So that bounces in, zooms, that bounces in, that bounces in. Uh, I'm going to shorten that clip down to there. I'm going to shorten this clip down to there where that starts. So now this is starting to look a bit cooler. Oh, I want to put that zoom in there. So we're going to come in there. I'm going to get a zoom. Maybe I'm going to zoom out. I mean, you know, you can just start to, once you get how this works, you can just start to play around with these and you can get some really cool effects. So that's kind of like the basic intro to, um, to FX um, and, to, uh, and to transitions. Wow. Now the next thing really you're going to want to do with this is to start to work out how to um, add music to this stuff. Uh, and I think I'm going to, I'm going to cover that in a separate um, video because uh, otherwise this is going to be super long. So what we've done is we've added some photos that could easily be videos, of course, as well. So you can see very quickly how we can start to build up some really kind of cool little things that we could post. OK, right. Hang on to those for now um, and I will come back with part two. Uh, any questions? Um, please leave them, get in touch with me on, uh, all my usual channels, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I hate all that stuff, but go do that too. Thanks for watching.